A new bill proposed by Republican State Senator Ruth Johnson would require all law enforcement agencies to adopt duty to intervene policies, which mandate that officers step in regardless of rank when they see another officer use excessive force. I introduced the same bill last session and reintroduced it in 2021 on the one year anniversary of the killing of George Floyd. It was just so disturbing to see what happened and how some of the police officers saw it and, and, and they didn't react at all. Johnson, who represents the state's 14th district, which covers parts of Genesee and Oakland counties, says she wants to see officers trained and empowered to act when they see abuse on the job. This is just common sense, and it helps not only the potential victim, but it also helps the police officer. Let's face it, they have one of the hardest jobs in society. Scott Wolf, a professor in Michigan State University's School of Criminal Justice, tells me that across the country, many law enforcement agencies already have these policies in place. As many agencies have been initiating their own duty to intervene policies uh, with, with great success. I think the intervening policies within individual agencies are a good idea uh, when they have a uh, solid foundation for what they expect of their officers uh, and if there's sufficient training. Wolf tells me that the success of these policies rests in setting clear expectations for officers and giving law enforcement agencies time to adapt. They're a good mechanism, I think, for really, not overnight, it's not a light switch, but gradually starting that cultural change that it's acceptable to intervene when one of your colleagues in your mind is doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Ingham County Sheriff Scott Rigglesworth noted that policies like this one need to be practical. And there may be instances out there in law enforcement that might not be practical that they could actually intervene. They could be in a physical altercation themselves and happen to see something else happening. But the reporting piece in that would still be appropriate after after whatever they were involved in. On the whole, Rigglesworth tells me he's supportive of the proposed legislation, but believes there should be a caveat that officers intervene when feasible. Reporting in downtown Lansing, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Elle Myers, Fox 47 News.